guys, welcome to my channel. So I just made a video on DHgate and I wanna make a video on AliExpress. Now DHgate, I went through the whole thing. If you wanna hear about it, watch the video. For the AliExpress items, I can only talk about my experience. I haven't had any bad experiences with them yet, um, which is great, but they have a great process. Like their process is 10 times better when it comes to like notifying you of what's going on than DHgate. So basically, they will tell you like the client is gonna ship this within one to three days. So you order something and it'll say, we'll be shipped within one to three days or something. Like, you know, like it'll give you the date, sometimes down to the time, just like the date, you know, it's gonna be shipped by this date. Then when it ships, they send you an email and they're like, hey, your item has been shipped. Now DHgate does the same thing, right? But AliExpress goes even further because, and they also show you recommendations on the bottom of like similar items. So you can get into that hole that I was talking about on the DHgate video and this one because they don't outwardly promote designer brand items. They like will promote other things. And if you're lucky, you, you stumble upon one designer brand item, then you can scroll throughout the advertisement and find other ones. Or if you buy something, it'll, it'll suggest other possible designer brand items, but you have to get into that hole of where they're actually recommending stuff to you. And you kind of earn that with time, kind of like you have to buy stuff at Hermes, Hermes. And, um, for a while before they offer you a Birkin bag, you know? So it's kind of like the same thing. And the cool thing is when it lands in the country, it'll say like, good news, your product has landed in your country. Get ready to deliver, you know, to receive it soon. And then when they deliver it, like the moment that it's scanned, it'll say your item has been delivered. Please write a review, you know, which is awesome. Cause it's like, you know, it's there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I haven't had any issues where it was delivered to the wrong address where it wasn't delivered, where an item wasn't shipped. Um, so I don't have anything negative to say about that. But I know that on the right side, just like DHgate, when you look at your orders page, it'll allow you to open a dispute if you need to. Um, when you receive the goods, you have to confirm that you received, oh, I forgot to say that. You're supposed to confirm that you received the goods um, also on DHgate. Oh well. And then <laughs> uh, you confirm the receipt of goods and then it gives you the ability after that to write a review. Um, you don't have to write a review, you can just X out of it and then write the review later after you've tried it or whatever. Um, or you can just write the review right there, it's up to you. But I know they have a customer service department. I know it sucks so bad because I've tried writing them. Again, they're artificial intelligence system bites. You never get to a customer service rep, a real one. And if you do, they just give you a reason of why they can't help you. I've never had good customer service with AliExpress. I've had some good experiences with DHgate, but never a good experience with AliExpress customer service. But their automated system of like letting you know something's been shipped, that it's arriving, that's better. And their stuff always comes within two to three weeks. For me, I've been really, really lucky, but I'm also in New York, they process things quicker than when you're in another state. So I don't know what the processing of other states is. Um, compared to New York, but I've received everything within two to three weeks. I'm so impressed with how quickly things get delivered with AliExpress. So I've ordered stuff from them. I've been happy with everything that I've received from them, except for the bracelets, which don't always fit. Um, and I think the plating of one or two things, but that's been my experience with AliExpress. If it changes, I will let you know, but just letting you know, their customer service is horrible, horrible, like beyond horrible. But their automated system of like letting you know everything that's going on step by step is pretty good. Um, that's basically all I have to share with you with AliExpress. I'm sure there's other people that have better videos because they're better clients. Like I just started using AliExpress a month ago. So I don't have enough experience. But with DHgate, I've been a client for like three decades. No, no. Two decades, right? 1998, yeah. Not three decades, 98, 2008, 2009. 98. 2008. Yeah, 20, 20 years. What am I saying? Three decades. That would age me a lot. Um, <laughs> uh, three times. But yeah, so like two decades, but mostly off. It was just literally for a few months for those periods of, you know, for those years specifically, 99, 2008, and then 2020. That's it. And then I never bought anything from them again. Um, I feel that the quality is significantly better now than it's been in the past they better processes. Um, I've never tried Alibaba. I don't know if I'm even gonna ever go in there, but I do think it's interesting. 
but I just wanted to give you my experience with AliExpress.